Right, so game friends. Friends who are in and are about games. We're here. So, hello, I'm Chris Slight. Who are you? I'm Stephen Neal. And who are you? Ian Dransfield. How about you? Lydia Ellery. Nice. New I like friend. That, I like that you lent in to say that as well. Like, Lydia, Lydia Ellery. Because you might notice a slight difference in quality. It's because we're using a different microphone. Simon Chong is ill and he, he sets up all the nice classy equipment for us and he's not here today, so... Which is a, a all... slight on Ian's lovely microphone that we use. Ooh, a bit yeah, but I now gosh. hate it after seeing the advert for it. Yeah, oh, that yeah. blue microphone's advert at TwitchCon was awkward. You, it's sexualizing a microphone is silly. <laughs> it is. Bad. Don't know why they do that. Look that up, TwitchCon blue microphones. I assume because they hate women, but I don't know. I we not, don't know. I wasn't behind the campaign. No, I think no. that's the official campaign yeah. slogan. We, blue. We, we hate fucking women. hate women. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I did, they, they didn't have that written on their didn't booth, they? but... In a way, they did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> interestingly. In they did. Interestingly, in a way, they did. But yeah, we're we're going to talk about games, though, because we're the game friends. We are. So I'm going to begin by talking about Happy Home Designer, which I've been playing. Animal Ooh. Crossing. Ooh. Now, now, has any of you guys played it at all yet? I haven't played Happy Home Designer. Okay. For a little bit at Euro bit. Gamer. Oh, did they have it at Eurogamer? Yeah, yeah, they Ooh. did. But only it's... EGX. EGX. Is, for the cool kids. They say. But, uh, yeah, you, uh, you, if this is your bit. I was hey. going to start talking about it, but... I'm bit. gonna jump right in. Uh, I've been a big fan of Animal Crossing just since New Leaf. Like it's all, it was all new to me, but I put a lot of hours into Animal Crossing New Leaf. I really enjoyed it, hanging out with my little animal friends, pottering about, just relaxing. Those were good times. This was really one of the few it. Nintendo things you admitted to having actually yes. played. Yeah, I, 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 I had it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Animal Crossing. And so as soon as Happy Home Designer was announced, I was like, well, I'm gonna get that. Not even gonna look into it too much. I'm gonna get it. Turns out you do way less stuff in Happy Home Designer. And I knew that going in. It is called Happy Home Designer. Mm. I know. They've done everything they can. They've done everything they can yeah, to let me it. know that. And mm. I'm not blaming them, but I'm just from the doing less stuff comes playing it less because you don't have as many. Is it a full retail books. price game? It is. That's yes. a bit really? of a scam. Well, it was, it was like 35 quid I think I got it for on Amazon. What do you actually That's do for your 35 price. quid though? Because I'm, just... I'm unclear on this because I haven't paid any attention oh, okay. to it. Okay, basically you uh, work for Tom Nook's uh, Fucking home. Tom Nook. I know, man. He's everywhere. But you work for his retailer company, that realtor company. Of course, because I've been in America, I, I didn't say realtor. Oh, did you go to America, Chris? Were you in America? You I never mentioned no about way. that. I never mention it. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever been. I loved it. Yeah. But it's my favourite place. You love buying things. You love them. I know. It's the best. Oh, but <laughs> anyway. Coca-Cola curtains. Oh, there's so much good stuff. Anyway, so... <laughs> You work for Tom Nook and you're like redoing people's houses. So some little animal will come up to you and be like, can you do my house like space? And you go, all right. You redecorate it and all stuff like that. You hang out with them, take a little picture. And that's kind of the so game. So Tom Nook cl- lets you see your family that evening. Anything like that? Nope. He never no, even no, turns no, up. No, he just locks you I up. I haven't paid enough you. of it. But... So do you have like a limited selection of things you can pimp their houses with, but then you unlock more? or can, You unlock everything... more. Oh, right. Yeah, you unlock more as you Can you, you do their house up wrong? Yes. If, like if you don't follow, yes, if you don't follow their brief, they're kind of like. What the can you put dicks everywhere? Well, you can't just. There's no dicks in it. You oh, can customize though in, in New Leaf. You, you can draw, you your, own can draw your own dick. You can. I haven't. I haven't ah. been able to do that yet. No, not yet. Uh, so I couldn't just cover someone's houses and genitals. No. But um, or in the game. Or in the game. Can yeah. you customize <laughs> the town though? <laughs> <laughs> can you customize the town? Well, pa- well That's what I read. You, apparently yeah. you can, but that hasn't unlocked to me yet. Customize the, towns, the town. Mm-hmm. All the towns, all the shops are still boarded up for me. I haven't played a ton of it yet. Okay. But if they're boarded up, the clue is that they're going Something's to become gonna unboarded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Tom so, Nook's been in there somewhere scamming someone out some money. He's left people money. homeless out of their business. Out of their life. Dead in the They've probably killed yeah. themselves as a result of this because Nook is a horrible, somewhere. horrible raccoon bastard. Wow, you don't like Tom Nook. <laughs> I'm gang. What happened? What did he do? What, what did he do to they you? They used to have a house. And Tom Nook took it. I wanted it decorated like the moon. Yes. And then I just ended up with nothing. Not even a box. He took my box off me. Wow. He's a prick. I mean, he's not even real and he managed to achieve all of that oh, yeah. for you. Are this you sure it was happen. him? Or he's very, you're blaming him? very influential. <laughs> yeah. very persuasive. <laughs> no, that's fair. So if you can unlock town things, though, yes. how is it different to... Animal Crossing. You don't really potter around doing any, like you don't dig up fossils, you don't, literally oh, you go well, decorate tough. someone's house, then it's the end of the day, new day, and then you decorate Some someone's up, house, somebody else end of the day, new day, yeah, yeah, and that, so far that's been the pattern. So just, sound... it's just working for Tom Nook is the game. Yes. <laughs> what I don't get is it just sounds like they've taken New Leaf and then spoiled it. Taken a tiny little bit of it and then you just made do it that much over and over that's and over That's kind of it. They've it's taken cool. one element of New Leaf and made it way bigger. Like it's much more customizable. And they've ignored the fun. 
Sounds like it. Yeah. That, well, part of the fun for me is it's just very relaxing and I like talking to little animal friends. Like Unless that's it's yeah. my maybe thing. It's, is it like a government sponsored thing? It's like a vocational training course for people to get into like decorating and stuff. Like was a degree in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So we'll get people with more like, more like manual labor kind of backgrounds growing up. Mm. You're an estate know. agent, aren't you? You wear yeah. a little red suit and everything. I'm a realtor, yes. Yeah. Why As do you I decorate them the now? house? <laughs> uh, because that's apparently my thing. Oh, it's because like Tom uh, looks a bastard. I, I, think, yeah. I think the official job title, and I might be wrong here, but I think the official job title of the job that you're doing in the game is a happy home designer. I believe oh, I am a happy home realtor. designer. Okay. Nice. Well, that that's apparently my uh, title. But I get a nice little red blazer when I first turn up, and that's really nice. Oh, nice. There's also the element of the amiibo cards, <laughs> and they unlock other other people that can come in and visit your town. Like, so I've got like Tom Nook. I've already got. God, I've got Tom Nook in the box. He's everywhere. But I've got Timmy as well. Like uh, Timmy from New Leaf. I've got to buy these. Is this another one of them? Five or a pack. For <laughs> <three> <laughs> of them. Extra things for games. You don't. Now the one thing I did notice. Lego Dimensions like, is going to cost me eight hundred quid. Yes, Lego What's Dimensions is on? crazy money. Yeah. But What's you don't happened? have to buy these things, it turns out. There's plenty of people you can decorate homes for. So you get one in the box, and it's kind of like, oh, cool. And then if you want to buy more, which I did, I bought one pack with my with the game, and it's quite nice. I and that so much. But why, yeah. why would you do that? Just to have extra specific people. Like You're not necessarily going to get like the particular koala called Melba, who I, was in my town in New Leaf that I love. Um, and these are just like like paper cards. Paper cards that you have the but NFC paper thing Paper cards on. that they've put loads of extra game code in the card after it launched. And yeah, and NFC little things that you scan. That's not true. So what you're saying is... It's not true. It's all already it's on the full, bloody cartridge. <laughs> it's a full price game, which you've got to spend an extra five or four to get like specific characters. Yes. Which they took out, yeah. and you've got to spend more yeah. money to get When them. you buy Hate the cards... <laughs> You're all um, really incredulous about this, but I quite enjoy you it. You love buying shit. <laughs> I do. When you buy the cards, do you know what's in the pack? Or is no. it like, blind? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, you, will. Uh, you will. You will. What? Fuck there was, you. There was fuck. actually no. an article on Kotaku. No. no. Where a no. woman was trying. No. No. Fuck Nintendo. <laughs> she was trying to get right. a specific amiibo and she bought like 10 packs. Shit, she didn't the... get it. Oh, <laughs> and it was like, what? and the best thing is, this is series one of those cards. There's a hundred in be series one. There's going to be 400 altogether. Yeah, 400, 400 cards. cards. So if you want to collect them all, such a black how many? There's 400. <laughs> and how many in a pack? Three. <laughs> <laughs> and they cost a fiver. So that's, oh my that's, God. that's like Lego Dimensions levels yeah, of money. That's a lot Wait, of money. If you get all if different you want ones. Them all. Yeah, yeah. Three, yeah, at least three Lego doesn't even you know go in. Getting. Three yes. doesn't go into 400, so you're going to have... Even Swaps. If, yeah, even if you had every, sing, every single time you bought a pack, it was like original cards that you didn't have. You'd still have two extra ones at the end of it. Yeah. Arseholes. So angry. I mean, I don't mind. But <laughs> you know, I... You've played it a bit as well, though, Lydia. So, and what's the... your take on the game? Why don't you play it for like literally ten minutes or something? That sounds like enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty quid. quid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, well, what I, I, you know, I thought it was. I really liked New Leaf as well. I think I put one hundred and fifty. Yeah, hours I put a lot of hours into New Leaf. Leaf. Um, so I can see the appeal, but at the mm. same time, when I was playing it, it did. It didn't feel like there was anything new. So the fact that. It doesn't feel like there's anything new, and you've got to spend loads of money to get something which doesn't feel like it's new anyway. Mm. Just mm. seems a bit. Yeah. I, I think can you see need to that. Shout more to get into it. I, I love Animal Crossing, and it sounds like <laughs> horseshit. Now it all really depends how much you enjoy listening to. <laughs> no, I, don't, I do like listening to. That. I love that. Who Tom it's Nook? I love yeah. his songs. I imagine he will turn up as a card. Oh, you've got to spend money to get Captain. Captain, the guy in New Leaf. If you're lucky enough to get him at random. Well, exactly. Four hundred characters. K.K. Slider or whatever he's called. Yes. He's a person you can get with a card. K.K. So who can you get? Randoms. I've I've just had rando like a. a Can you even remember like the frog. name of any of the characters you not paid yet. money for? Oh, that I've paid money for. There was a cat called Punchy. I've never oh, heard of her. Punchy. Do you know Punchy? I know Punchy. See, I don't know Punchy. She's yeah, never turned up in my village. But I've got the card for Punchy. Oh, Punchy. But I've got Tom Nook. I've got Timmy. Oh, Timmy. Timmy. Nook. Yeah. Yes, little I'm Timmy. Happy about that. Hey, and then I got another one who I didn't. I can't remember, but. Yeah. But then I, I'm not going to get any more cards. Like, I'm quite happy with the game as it is. I don't... You definitely are. You definitely are. Yes, it depends is. how much time I put into it. I can't see me putting as much time into this game as I did New Leaf. Because mm. it's very, like... To me, it feels like if it was, like, seven ninety nine and on an iPhone, I'd feel like I got a good deal. Like, I'd be like, this is a good amount of game to an app. But for a full game, it doesn't feel like there's as much. But then I might not have just... Delved into it, the yeah. surface. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's the thing with New Leaf, it took ages to unlock all yeah, the shops and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. maybe you just need to 
Potentially, and it puts potentially. Them time to it. Or just send them some more money. Yeah. Hmm? Or give them yeah, more money, buy more cards. Yeah. Well, well, I would give Happy Home Designer, I think. You're not having my kazoo. I'll no, say okay. I'll say that now. There's no way it's a four kazoo. Well, it's not I'm a four. Not it's not a four kazoo yeah. affair. I'm, I'm, I'm torn between two and three. I'd recommend two based on what I've heard. <laughs> I don't know how you feel Ian, about blowing your kazoo. Would you not? Would you? I mean, what, you were I'm, furious. I am still kind of seething about this. Well, we'll go with two kazoos, but with the spirit of three. Lydia, do you mind uh, <laughs> joining on? Is it at the same time or one yeah. after another? Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> I like that you counted us in. We haven't done that no, before. Neither. We normally Professional. just... Yeah. 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 Well, you know. Anyway, I've also been playing Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Has anyone played that one yet? I haven't. I watched you play it on Twitch last night. You did? I was very drunk and abusive. But, you uh, was? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Standard... On a uh, Sunday night? I got back from the football. I was watching the American football. And then, yeah. yeah. And then he was wrecked, and Chris and obviously. Chris window, just giving him shit. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's ideal situation, if you can just have me sat well, I come in and all the regulars all know me, so I can just be really rude to you and they jump on my side. It's, it's a great. It's, of fun. It's, it's very, my um, ideal situation in my living room. It's yeah. very <laughs> traditionally <laughs> manly Sunday, isn't it? American football yeah. and beers and then watching Twitch. someone else Twitch. play Gears of War. Yeah. Gears of War. It's a good game. It's a it's manly game. Yeah. It's very manly. It's a real game for real men. There it is. I was waiting for it. Yeah. I called it a real game. Dot, dot, dot. That was the name of my stream. You won't get that reference, but it, no, it was... Oh. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's internet comedy. Yeah, very oh, good. No. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> I hate comedy and I hate the internet. Wow. I mean, I like it, but anyway. <laughs> uh, Gears of War Ultimate Edition is fine. <laughs> Let's have a Gears of War Ultimate Edition. And that's it? It's three kazoos. It's because it's, <laughs> it's someone did ask me while I was playing it, like, should I get Gears of War Ultimate Edition? I was like, if you've never played Gears of War yeah. and you like shooters, yes. Mm -hmm. If you played Gears of War nine years ago, like me, and loved it, and really enjoyed it, and it's been a long enough amount of time that you're kind of like, eh, I'll play again, yes. Otherwise, nah. maybe not. Yeah. Did it's you still, buy the disc? Yeah. You buy the disc? I'll just borrow it off you then. Oh, all right. Um, maybe yeah, I will too. Yeah. It's still okay. got... Um, <laughs> we should always do this. Yeah, it's huh. great. You finished it's your DDS got... yet for this Animal Crossing? <laughs> not yet. Right. <laughs> right. Sorry. It's still got a feature in it that um, not enough other games have ripped off because every other game ripped off Gears of War after it came yes. about. Yeah. Every other game became a, a knee-high cover shooter, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but... Not not many, if any, games ripped off the active reload, which is one of the best Summer things time. in any yeah. game ever. The, the one of the most fun it things makes, about it. It makes reloading a game in itself. Yeah. Why true. would you not just put that in every game? It's great. I don't know. I I also just love uh, the Lancer as a gun. It feels like a thing just f like spitting fire into the world, where you just. Uh, Flailing it's got a this chainsaw around. on the end. Of it. I know it's brilliant. <laughs> like I want to hate it, but how can you? It's got a fucking oh, how, chainsaw. How would you in. even want to hate it? Ian? It, because it's look so at much it. fun. It's it's crass. Yeah, it's base. That's its whole thing. Like if you you just accept that as like, well, that's what Gears of War is. Well, I'm you just have a good time. Kind of in a roundabout way, trying to admit that I'm crass and base. And but you are crass. You yourself, in fact, are Marcus Phoenix. I wonder what the uh, soul patch was about. It's a. Nah. Uh, no, that's just because the rest of my beard doesn't show up. Oh, no, that's fair enough. That's, uh, that's I still my haven't day. learned how to grow one. Oh. Oh, mate. <laughs> co-op, I think, is the way of the future, though. I did some co-op. It's good, isn't it? It's really fun. Yeah. yeah. I haven't even played Gears of War. Not really. I played a bit of 3. And yeah. then I did Ultimate Edition co-op and loved it. It's good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really good fun. Really fun. Yeah. I was trying to get like, anyone to get it so I could play it with <laughs> Please, them, but... someone. I'm, I'm just going to borrow it Yeah, he's not going to play it with me. Can you still do way more like fun. you did on the PlayStation, like multiplayer with one disc? If well, you, like Gears of War on the PlayStation? No, multiplayer games <laughs> Come on, like mate. Bushido <laughs> Blade and Duke Nukem and Doom and all these other ones. You could play Link Up multiplayer with one disc. Um, Maybe we should talk about this next week. <laughs> yeah, we might. Because I don't remember that even being a thing. But then I never did link up multiplayer. So. Ah, you never lived. Mm. Nah, I didn't have enough friends to do that with. <laughs> no. uh, that I wanted to do that with, I should say. It was all very selective. Sure. But no, I think you do need to buy a disc. Nah, so. that's bullshit. Don't want to buy things. I've already established that. <laughs> I hate capitalism. Oh, that's fair enough. I'll Down with the system. With you. Will you? Yeah. Oh, wow. I thanks, feel Liz. sorry for you. D no, I don't want it. Because... No, you should feel sorry I for do, you. Really. What? Uh, <laughs> that's definitely the attitude behind Game Friends, is yeah. feeling sorry for Chris. Or just angry at him. Wow, yeah. this is a great time for me. I really enjoy putting this all together. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your hard work, Chris. That's all right. Don't worry about it. But uh, Gears of War Autumn Edition is a lot of fun. And I, I would recommend, if you enjoy a shooter, play it. It's quite cheap as well. It's like... 30 quid mm. 
to get. So I'll wait till it's a tenner, but yeah. <laughs> still too expensive for this guy. <laughs> but... By the time it's ten quid, I'll have borrowed it off Chris and finished it probably. Mm. Yeah. You could just, and then you borrow, can just borrow it again, it I guess, or you could lend it to him. Yeah. Is probably how it feels like this is going to work. In fact, if you're listening and you want to borrow it, like, <laughs> get that rather than everyone have to buy it, which sounds expensive, we yeah. can just keep lending it around to just listen. Amazing. If, if yeah. loads of people yeah. bought yeah. it, if loads of people bought it, loads of money would go to like Microsoft and stuff. No, 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 the man. Who'd, no, want, who'd want people them to get money? People in suits. No, thank you, sir. People that get games People to that us. don't wear £2.50 Primark t-shirts that are covered in dog hair and are way too big for them. You look uh, great, though. Me Thanks. too. Well, is... you said you look great. <laughs> I look great. <laughs> me too. Mine's even got a safety pin in it, keeping it together. Nice, is nice, how nice. Great. cheap mine is. It's going well. Thank you. Safety pin more expensive than the shirt, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, man. I'd give Gears of War. <laughs> 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 uh... I'm just realising that I'm really rambling on. But I would give Gears no, of no, War... No, it's definitely us that was doing that. So that's very <laughs> I know. But I give yeah. Gears of War free kazoos if anyone wants to join in on that. Who wants to sit that one out? Lydia's sitting it out. Okay. All right. well, there we go. <gasps> I feel like you're just covering yeah. everywhere with spit when you do that. Yes, yeah, I Shouldn't have done it as like the chord when you clear an area of locust when it goes like... Oh, the... Oh, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, we could do that. So that that's that's why I give you a lot. That doesn't mean six kazoos, by the way. No, it's just no, that's free. still free. Uh... Oops, Stone's brewing. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's not here, but his uh, the sound box is here in spirit, making the podcast all the better. Yeah. No, it's not here in spirit. It's actually here with oh. spirits in it. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> blimey! That's wonderful wordplay. That's world class. Mm, I've spooky got ghost. sixteen whole sounds here. Good lord. Well, do you want to deploy any of those sounds when talking about the game you've played, Ian? What game is that? Well, the one <laughs> you told me about, which was Star Wars Battlefront. There we go. Battlefront. Um, what sound would go with Star Wars Battlefront? <laughs> That's the a owl. Good sound for Star Wars. The <laughs> owl of Star Wars. So as we all know, Endor has a bird that flies by in the very establishing shot. Much like that owl. Is that an anyway, owl? Nah, it's just no. some sort of no, lizard. It's a cat. Bird. Space. It's not a cat. Di- what, different, flying, different animals, a isn't it? flying cat. It sounds like a cat. Well, why not? <laughs> I can think of many reasons why there'll be a flying cat. They've got a cat. giant slug drinking a pint in episode four, so <laughs> <laughs> why would they not have a flying cat? Well, that's just one step too far. <laughs> a giant snail having a pint, fine, but a flying <laughs> cat? That's too much. I'd be pulled right out of the world then. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it anymore. We've established your limits, that's okay. Yeah, flying um, cat. Battlefront. So, Star Wars <laughs> Battlefront will not. Um, take you out of the experience then there aren't any flying cats oh thank god yeah um, I'm really uh, to put this in perspective I'm really looking forward to this game okay. I loved the Battlefront 2 I played a hell of a lot of I know Steve McNeil we've it was the thing I got most excited about of during E3 yeah we've booked a weekend off so the two of us can play it together was that a bad idea is the yeah, question well, that's yes. what I want to know Lydia, are you excited for Battlefront? yeah how damn right yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, so words don't work um, I guess you weren't prepared for that. I wasn't ready. Like I was not ready. <laughs> oh, God. So you've booked a weekend off and you've forgotten human language. Okay, right. That's how exciting We're keen. We're you keen. might need to relearn English and yeah. you two might need to look into getting those days at work back. Really? Oh. It looks amazing. This, this <clears throat> needs to be prefaced with the fact that this is based on a preview event and I've played three modes in you've it. You've had a little go on it. You it's know. a beta that is getting released to the public quite soon, I think, actually. Yes, it, it is. is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Thursday? So you will be able to find out for yourself if you get in on that. Don't say dates. This, this isn't oh, live. Sorry. It's all right. Was, no, we're silent again. around that. <laughs> the whole thing. Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Game. For- oh, no. um, <laughs> so it's not impressions are not based on full game. Blah blah blah. Disclaimers, yeah. all that bullshit. Um, I wasn't really impressed. How come? It felt a lot like. Basically, what I feared, which would, which was that it's uh, Battlefield with Star Wars skin over it. It, huh, feel, it feels right. like one of the old total conversions of a shooter. Because oh, someone's what... modded. Yeah, someone's modded something really well, and it's got all the sound effects and music and everything, and the character but models, still... and it's even got Jedi, the plural of Jedi. I'm, I'm good yeah? at plurals. Is yeah. would it not be Jedi's? Get fucked. Oh, well, I just thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's it's. I mean, the first disappointment, it's been public knowledge for a while, I think, but the first disappointment is playing their offline mode, the closest they've got to single player. It was just survival mode. 
Mm. It was just shooting waves of stormtroopers and a couple of ATSTs. Mm. See, and that it, I knew that, so that's not too much of a yeah. disappointment. I already knew that going in. I knew there wasn't going to be the big campaign or anything like that. So I'm fine with that. Okay. That's not a problem. I still had hopes there might be a bit more. To so they had a surprise for you, even though they'd said no. <laughs> In their back pocket, they were like, oh. they, they, they call it missions yeah. mode. And they, they have, missions mode. They have for. survival and something else, I think. But I do remember seeing the something else and not thinking it was anything of interest. Huh. Okay. Um, again, though, uh, on the beta, you, you can probably see all the same things because yeah. I think it is exactly the same thing they're releasing. Um, one of the other modes was... Um, I can't remember what it was called. It was some Star Wars related name, but it was basically like conquest mode. Yoda um, mode. <clears throat> Yoda. Yoda. Um, Yoda. <laughs> Yoda. And it's one of those where there are um, capture points. Mm. And the difference Love in that. this being they're not set from the beginning. I actually kind of like this. They're not set from the beginning of the map. They, um, they, they're like escape pods that you have to go and get to. Right. So they, they crash on the planet at mm-hmm. different times. And you have to run around and you have to hold them for a while. And what I also liked about this That's, was yeah, in, okay. in other games like Battlefield and so on, you have to stand at these capture points at them yes. for a while, defending yes. them. I like that. Uh, That's my favourite of modes. Battlefront, I do get the names mixed up. Battlefront, you just have to go up and activate it, which takes like three seconds, four mm. seconds or something. Mm. And from that... You can bugger off wherever you want. Really? But you do still have to defend it. You just don't have to be stood next to it. You can activate it. It's yours. And then right. you have to defend it for a set amount of time. And you but can you go... can defend it as a sniper from a yeah. distance yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of thing. So it, like it opens it up to different ways of playing. I mean, we, we were playing it with like... And in order for someone else to capture it, they have to walk up and yes. press the button as well. Yes. Right. Okay. So okay. You, you can actually mount an organized defense rather yes. than people just, just standing around, running around, yeah, 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 which yeah. is the standard. Which yeah. it is. I mean, I could see that becoming the new standard for like future Battlefield games mm. and stuff. But that's the thing. I was playing it, and every time my brain was going back to Battlefield and Call of Duty and things like that, because it didn't feel different from them at all. This is something I've also said. I don't really know what else they could do mm. because I spoke about it with one of the guys making it, and. It has to be as broad appealing and like kind of easy for people to get into as it can because it's Star Wars. Yeah, it has to be something yeah. that everyone can play because everyone will to buy it. it. Yeah. The, thing, the thing is, that's what Battlefront was. Like Battlefront, definitely but anyone could get into Battlefront. I think the difference being that Battlefront was made by Pandemic mm. and they weren't a studio known for like their their shooters and stuff. They didn't no. have a yearly franchise that feels exactly the same as this game does. Okay, so it's so like the, in... the disappointment comes from the fact that it is so very similar feeling to Battlefield. To Battlefield. And I've always preferred Call of Duty. You uh, would in Coca-Cola curtains. I, d- I do. <laughs> I, I have always, like, in terms of the feel of the, the gunplay, and the, I feel Battlefield feels quite light. The, it, like The whole thing feels not weighty. Call of Duty feels like it has a weight to it. Battlefield feels very airy as everything moves Battlefield around, is which my, I'm not a fan of. Battlefield is my preferred of, of those two. Particular. It's probably my preferred multiplayer shooter. I don't play them much, but that's because it's, it's more focused on team play and stuff, which mm. I, I enjoy. Oh, I don't. Lone Wolf. But so the they call me on the third servers. mode, um, you wouldn't really <laughs> like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the third mode you wouldn't really like as a lone wolf because it's um, Walker Assault and it's twenty v twenty, and you kind of have to work together to not immediately fuck up like we did a few times because we weren't paying attention. Um, In what way do you have to work to get? Like, how? Why is it necessary to work together? So it, it's it's um, the Imperial Assault on Hoth, mm. the one that I don't know. Standard. If there, I don't know if there are more missions in this but it is called walker assault so i assume it's just gonna be imperial walker assault and that's they the might throw endor in there for a lol uh, the imperial walkers weren't really assaulting there they were just kind of transports anyway, oh well they, they, they had in there they had a couple of ATSTs, could possibly get endor in no you can make stuff ATSTs up because they're stupid oh, they can't even right. walk properly yeah Idiots. well all right <laughs> um told you did 20 v 20 uh the rebels have to activate thingy communication stations three of them and keep them active defend them blah 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 mm. for a certain amount of time and the longer you keep them up the more y wings you get which fly in and bomb the encroaching ATAT walkers yes Hat-hats, if you will i know uh, will. the empire side has to stop the rebels from activating these things because mm. they hurt the ATATs and just generally advance until they get within range of the shield generators and blow them up and blah 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 and during this, you can you can get in your mounted guns, you can get in different vehicles, 
like uh, TIE Fighters, TIE Interceptors, uh, A-Wings, Snow Speeders, ATSTs, which have full control over. You can even get into ATATs, uh, but you can't have full control over them because that would completely ruin it because people would just walk off into the distance rather <laughs> yeah, than where sure. they're supposed to go. But they get a wonderful sense of power being in the ATAT because... Mm. It's just fucking nails. It blasts everything really Brilliant. well. But you only get to be in it for a minute. In it for a minute. Mm. That was maybe the sales pitch, actually. In it for a minute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not totally down on the game. Not by a long shot. Because that all sounds good Yeah, not, not to by me. a long shot. But like, none of this sounds it, bad. Just, like, playing it, it just feels so similar to so much else I've played before. Yeah. I, I have, okay. There's very little about it that I'm excited about, including the setting, because it's set... In the um, original trilogy era. Yes. So, you know, I've played fucking tons of games based on that. Yeah. Mm. Based it on the You're basically one. saying, what about the prequels? It's definitely Because I'm saying, saying Chris, that. Those right. were good. In Battle... They in weren't ba- good, Chris. In ba- no, no in, one in, thinks no, that. No, in Battlefront, it was quite <laughs> Even cool. Even George Lucas, in his art of art, <laughs> doesn't think the prequel trilogy is good. No, no, no. I mean, in Battlefront, it was cool to have all those different options. Like, it was quite nice to be able to play as the robots. Stuff like that. I liked that. Roger, Roger. Yeah. Oh. Did we not watch the Clone Wars cartoon? Did nobody? I think no. Anyone who got into that, you used to tell me it's good. I just can't. It's really good, man. Like it's a I lot of fun. I think I've watched Clone Wars actually. Most it's good, of it. man. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I didn't really pay attention, but this you know. is something you've spoken to me about when we've been working together. I think. Yeah. You would like obsessed with Star Wars for a while. And you went yeah. banging on about it for ages. There was a good period. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was, I was, uh, yeah, I mean, quite deep with Star Wars for a little bit. I still am, but I'm, I'm kind of vaguely out of the. But then every now and again, I remember Episode Seven's coming out, and I go, ah! I do a I think excitement. You will, I mean, you like everything, but you will, <laughs> you will get a genuine, you will get genuine enjoyment out of it, if mm. only because it is like it's proper Star Wars. Yeah, 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 they've, yeah, they've nailed the setting and everything. And not once did I hear what really annoyed me on the, I think it was the, one of the E3 videos or something, when somebody throws like a thermal detonator and someone shouts, "Grenade! Fuck off! It's a thermal detonator!" Yeah, we all right. grenade. We all know it's a thermal detonator. And I didn't hear any of that, so maybe they took that out because Mm. of people like me and other nerds ranting about it because we are cool dudes. Um, Yeah, the sad thing is I didn't even notice that. I think I was too busy being (laughs) excited by that one shot where the guy's being held up in the air by the force choke and the camera pans around and there's Darth Vader standing right there and it's like... Oh, yeah, there was... Yeah, a couple of people... I was so excited. A couple of people got to be... I forgot all the vehicles and stuff, but a couple of people got to be the hero units and on the ones we played, they were uh, Luke and Darth Mm, Vader. Nice. And... I mean, that is cool in and of itself. That's it, very they, they're cool. Like, they're really powerful, obviously, and they're, they're rewards for people doing well. They're you know they're 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 limited amount of time buff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they can be taken down. They have energy bars and stuff. Mm. But um, it's really funny because as soon as they appear on the battlefield, you get like um, the battlefront. You get oh. like mm-hmm. twenty people just focusing like, everything ooh. on them. Just yeah. <laughs> So they don't last very long, but it, it's kind of spectacular in its own little way to see 20 people suddenly work together instead of just being idiots and not working together. But then I was in a room full of games journalists. What do you expect? Also, presumably, if they're going into beta, they've got plenty of time in terms of levelling and make ha- how much they let them absorb bullets. Yeah. Bullet sponges. They can, they've got time to figure I th- out. I think if it's like on a, a less open area because the Hoth one is like trenches. It's like First World War kind of combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People running at each other over no man's land and stuff. I think in other levels where there's actually a place to hide and it'll just be like five people trying to take out Darth Vader, then you'll feel fucking cool taking out five people because you can. Yeah. And they'll feel great if they manage to take you down because it's like, wow, that was hard, but we did it. And, but this is all like potential and imagination and it's a lot of things that I always get about Star Wars because I am always excited about Star Wars stuff. I know it doesn't sound it, but <laughs> I never sound excited. Mm, wow. Sound excited for dickheads. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Star Wars Battlefront. What would you give it on the preview kazoo? Preview kazoo. Prazoo. Um, prazoo. The proto kazoo. Yeah. Uh, which was just a reed. Um, Kazoo's got reeds in them? No. This okay. one doesn't. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> because you, you began with, like, it's bad, you won't like it, but everything you've said has just made me think, I'm going to enjoy it. And also the fact that I don't really play Battlefield does make me think, like, well... I won't have yeah, that. Yeah, you, you won't have the hang-ups like, that I have with yeah. it being mm. too familiar and stuff. But I don't think I said it was bad. Well, you, you did mm. begin by saying that I should maybe find something else to do in my weekend. Yeah, that, that was just playing into your plans and stuff. It's fine. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. 
Oh no, oh. he doesn't know. I don't know. Kazoo Confusion. It, it's Kazoo because Confusion. I've literally played it for Hello. a few hours and it was an early version and stuff. It's tough for me to So you don't, you, should we not give Maybe Kazoo Maybe it's un at this stage. Let, yeah. Let's save the Kazoos for December when it's out. No! <laughs> <laughs> you can come back, I it's to all do right. The kazoo. But do you want to do your own Kazoo? <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's so more you embarrassing. To do the there you go. I it was like, it was like that for it. me the first time I did it, but we weren't recording. I forgot. <laughs> do it Which like a laser noise. Nice. I like that you just I did it without the kazoo, work. and you were doing a little lightsaber <laughs> hand movement. Yeah. Just, just I, instead of a rating, I will just be an at at with a kazoo for a second. There you go. Nice. nice. There you go. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really fun. Yeah. Are you now not looking forward to it as much? <laughs> What's wrong? Anyone wanting kind of a meaty single player thing or offline mode is... Well, that's not, not what we're going to be doing anyway, that. Steve. We were going to play on the internet all weekend. Yeah. What's wrong? What's he done? <laughs> Don't listen to him. Listen to me. We're going to have Star Wars I just fun. Worry, I just, I'm just worried it's going to end up just being like Destiny Online, which I couldn't give two shits about. It will be online multiplayer. If you wasn't aware of that... No, that... I've, I've enjoyed online multiplayer. I didn't enjoy Destiny. And I feel like oh, it, it won't be like Destiny. Like he He's pulling a face. This is just. It might I mean, be a if it is like, like Destiny, Destiny, I'd love it. That's my, I, think, I think you'll Destiny. enjoy it. I think I'll enjoy it for a couple of days. I don't think game. it. Mm. It doesn't I, I feel like it's going to be like Destiny. I fall far more on that kind of side. I, w I did enjoy what I played a bit. Yeah, I love a lovely weekend. I will enjoy what I played a bit. But okay. Yeah, I, I, it's not something I'm going to be playing regularly. I can huh. already tell that. Yeah. Well, hmm. yeah, we'll see. But then I, I want something totally different from it. Yeah. Um, as I was, may have been saying before, the, the visceral team with Amy Hennig and that are making the single player game or games. So yeah. they're the ones that I'll actually be looking forward to. Yeah. More, at least. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, fair yeah. enough. So this is all a bit up in the air, really. So we don't know yet, do we? No, yeah. we'll we'll find out later, though. We'll get we'll get. What our, if we um... don't? Well, we will eventually. Time just happens. That's part it? of its thing. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, but it will this appear. was a long time ago in a galaxy far. Oh, That's da, a Star Wars da, 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 thing. Da, da, da. nice. He does like Star Wars, really. It turns out. I fucking out. love Star Wars. I never said I didn't like Star Wars. Even that sounds sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm not the boy who cried wolf. I'm the boy who. Something funny. Boy cried. <laughs> Boy cried. He's definitely that. <laughs> With fury. Apparently. Because uh, nobody loves him. Oh, God. <laughs> well, moving along. Lydia. It's me. It's you. It's my turn. Yeah, yeah. What have you been playing, my friend? I've been playing Zelda Triforce Heroes for the 3DS. For the Nintendo, Nintendo three-dimensional system. new 3DS. Oh, you've got one of them, have I you? Have one oh, look at you. I've, I've just got, got a regular one. one. It hasn't been charged in months, but I've got one. It's nice, isn't oh, it? But Animal Crossing's out now. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> That's so, the thing. You're going to see me next week with cards all over me. Like, I can't <laughs> stop buying them. A suit anyway, of cards. Triforce Heroes, though, people are quite excited about that. Simon Chong, I know for a fact, who uh, is not excited. here this week. Mm. Very excited. That's why he's not here. He's too excited. Just sound <laughs> Oh, God. Take this. I can be Link again, but in different costumes. <laughs> Looked fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's, um, I've, I haven't given sort of too much time into it. I've done about two of the worlds. So the way it's set up is similar in the sense that he's saying um, Animal Crossing, what's it called again? Uh, uh, Happy Home Happy Design. Happy Home Design. It's kind of like a sort of mini version of... A, a full. Oh, so like taking a full Zelda game and making a, a little bit element. more mini. Like Is it kind of like uh, Four Swords? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so like you have a kind of hub world which is quite small, and then you go um, and you kind of choose different lands to go to. Like you don't ex like explore and go there; you mm. just literally like go into a portal and it takes you there. And then each land will be broken up into three or four levels where there's just it's all like puzzles. It's kind of like it's kind of like taking a dungeon, a Zelda yes. dungeon, and then kind of like breaking up into four little levels and then just doing them over and over again. I'm not really. Selling this very well, am I? No, it's, yeah, really yeah, it's not your job. It's not your job to sell it, Lydia. <laughs> buy it. Why don't you buy it? Wow, that um, sounds like wank. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's basically taking the kind of exploring and out of Zelda and okay. condensing it into more of a puzzle. Dungeon experience. puzzles. Yeah. Now, right. how does the multiplayer aspect of this? Because I've seen there's constantly been videos before I watch a Twitch video mm -hmm. telling me that I can play alone and then showing me costumes and mm. then being like, play with friends. Mm. So what what are these elements? So with um, Triforce Heroes, it's been a bit tricky for me because I've got an earlier code. Mm. I can't 
actually play with anyone. Oh, you moment. can't do the online bit, yeah. <laughs> so it's Which the saddest is, Zelda um, ever. Well, actually, it's really lonely. And I know that you can um, do local uh, co-op, but I think, I'm not actually sure about this, I think you need two other people to do it. Yeah. Uh, so, which isn't great for me because I don't have two other people. Like, mm. who is going to be around two other people, two people who have a 3DS? That's yeah. what, you know. I, and that game and lucky, the time exactly. exactly the same time to play it with you. Yeah, Exactly. Yeah. If I'm lucky, I've got one person, yeah. but not two. And I don't like the idea of playing online with randomers just no, because I'm not I feel like they'll ruin it for me. They'll so. get the puzzles wrong. Yeah. They'll be dickhead. They'll think fucking Zelda's Link. It, oh, Idiots. I can't stand that. So I'm not sure about that. So what I have been doing is playing it single mode, mm. um, which has been okay. It's actually been all right, but it can get kind of frustrating because all the puzzles are based around the fact that you control three links. So when you're on your own, you control all three, sort of taking it in turns. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So like you use a touch screen to kind of zip between right. the three. Um, but obviously when you play it with other people, you have three moving characters who have your own brain. So a lot of the puzzles when you're doing it just by yourself um, can actually just be kind of irritating because you're having to flick you between. you walk there three times. You have to walk there three yeah. times or like you always have huh. to keep um, putting, stacking yourself up and then walking mm. over and then putting them down. So it's a lot of just like going back and forth between the little characters. Mm. I mean, you get used to it. When I first played it, it was like, oh, this, is, this is kind of irritating. I, like this would be so much more fluid if I was playing it with other people. Yeah. You yeah. could just walk there with me. Um, but you do get sort of more into it and um, it's, it's good if you want to just play it for small chunks because each land or whatever is you can kind of get through it in about 40 minutes so if you want to just like I just play it in short bursts before I go to bed or whatever yeah. it's good for that um, and the costumes are really cool like, they look nice I love, in the little video I, saw. I love shit like that yeah, so I love I. little gimmicky gimmicky yeah. shit like that um, so like the different costumes like there's an 8 bit costume which plays like old school Zelda music yeah. I love that nice. and you can dress up as Zelda Link wears a dress and he's all pretty and do nice. stuff like that very modern Link's yeah. always pretty he's very beautiful um, so yeah it's it's not... If you think about other 3DS titles, Zelda, Zelda ones like, uh, I don't know, Spirit Tracks or yeah. Out of Phantom Hourglass, it's not as immersive as those kind of titles. But I imagine if you've got friends... I know that would be hard for you, Chris, but if you have friends... Well, it sounds hard with, for you, so get off my shut back. Shut up! So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you've got friends you can play it with, then yes. it would I love that you both like the idea of it, but there's no, there's been no conversation about the idea of playing it together at any point. You just... <laughs> <laughs> You've yeah. got no friends and I've got no friends. I'd really like it. Yeah. Like, if Sounds funny. Like, I knew someone who liked video games. But would be able to play this game at the same time as me. Uh, you two didn't hate each other so oh, much. much. I know, that's, that's this the could be a problem. Wonderful thing. And I because... think, and again, I'm not even sure, but I think it's, uh, you only need one, I'd say, cartridge. Yeah. 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 Uh, so you can play it like if you've got one cartridge. Is that if we're in the same room? Because I don't know. Oh, we're probably not going to work. That's not going to work. Are we? No, but right. it's, yeah. Um... <laughs> you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Something's gone horribly fucking wrong if you are. Yeah. 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 Arrest record I'm not involved. actually mm. sure if that's correct though. But I, I'm, I looked it up and I think that's what it said. If that's not the case, then that's really frustrating because you're not going to know two other people who have. But you also must have be on Wi-Fi. Everything's like Pokemon's all Wi-Fi now, isn't it? Yeah. New age and Wi-Fi. But yeah, so no, it's Wi Fi. Yeah, it's yeah. Wi-Fi. Yeah, all the kids are doing it. <laughs> wi Fi now. Internet. Yeah. But yeah, so no, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time so far with Triforce Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. If I, yeah. If I was going to rate it, which I Pre preview because it's, it's a presume. Presume if you're giving it presume. Oh, that's true. Um, or you, don't, you can do what you like. This is your bit. This is my bit. You can be as confused as I was. Okay, mm. right. I want or to not. do three. Three presumes. And I want it to be in the sort of. Da, 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 when you open up the okay. chest. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I have to count down for this because it's very important that we get the timing correct. Very true. Okay, so three, two, one. <laughs> He won't do it properly. This is, uh, what, what's that yeah. predictable? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm saying it wasn't funny. <laughs> Fuck you, Steve. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the first angry kazoo slam we've had. Yeah, it yeah it's the first. Yeah, it is. It's, it's going passion. well. Uh, I understand you've been playing other games. Yeah, I've been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Just moving right on. <laughs> well, Parky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pro. You're the best. I know what I'm doing. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> so go on. It's not rodeo, Chris. <laughs> I have been playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Yeah, now, not I'm, now I'm listening. Yeah. Are you back, yeah. back hey, now? Have you haven't listened no, before? Now I'm involved. Lydia, not known for your Metal Gear Solid love. 
I'm people can't see up. that. Sporting a foxhound cover for her phone. There Amazing. we go. I saw I your uh, key ring somewhere. Me too. It's in my bag. <laughs> Or have you Sorry. stolen his keys? Oh, oh have shit. I? Mr. Ray <laughs> I saw your um, I guess Solid in 60 Seconds video. Oh, yes. Can be found on your it's YouTube page, I believe. How long is it? Anyway. <laughs> <I've>, uh... <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good, and you can find it on your YouTube channel. On my YouTube, www.youtube.com slash good game. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what was the question? Megasolid, it wasn't a question. It wasn't. It was <laughs> have you played with some other games? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A, a Mega yes. Solid 5. Yes, 5 is something I've been playing, but not nearly enough. I do feel like a big fraud because I've been you banging fraud. on about playing Mega Solid 5 for months. Yeah, I haven't even played it. Like, you've got a job uh, or something. I know. Oh, and I haven't actually, I've barely played it, which is just When you disgusting. say barely, how many lots of hours have you barely played it? <laughs> like, what mission are you up to? 15 hours, it's maybe. Quite it's quite I love how hours. that's barely. But that's barely. And it is actually. Yeah. No, it's that's true. In that game, Yeah, I think I'm only on, like, mission 15 or something. Way ahead of me. Um, like, how far did you get? I'm only up to like mission six or something like that. That's disgusting. Dog's still a puppy. Oh no, mine's all grown up now. Yeah, yeah. mine is. I kind of wanted him to keep him, stay as a puppy forever, but can't Ooh. stroke him. Just grows up, doesn't he? Oh, the sound box. <laughs> Don't ruin the illusion. I mean, oh, the dog. <laughs> here. It's a wolf. <laughs> oh. But guys, yeah. aren't you so excited for Metal Gear Five Online? Which, oh, I can't use dates. I was gonna say it's tomorrow, but that. It's in the. It's already it happened. Already happened. Guys, it's already happened. Aren't you playing it right aren't now? Are you playing it? What do you think of it? I haven't <laughs> played it yet, but um, at the time of recording, it's yeah. out tomorrow. Yeah, but, I'm super uh, excited. Although the videos I've seen, it looks mental. It looks absolutely mental. In what way? Some of the costumes for the females are questionable. Well, this in is Metal Gear Konami. Solid oh, but, but this is Metal Gear Solid with such a fair and balanced representation of quiet. Oh my, as a spoiler, if you haven't found out about why quiet wears ridiculous, like, clothing, it's the most bullshit reason of all time. Oh, it made me angry. It's because she needs to be sexy. That. Like, why did... Oh. She, doesn't, she, doesn't she absorb from the sun... Powers. So why is her G string? That's what out? I said. I was like, why is she not nude then? If were this the case, and why is she not a dude? Like, why do they make a sexy lady and then be like, especially when Kojima had come out and been like, well, you'll all feel stupid when you find out the reason, and it's like. It's the stupidest reason you could come up with for a woman to have barely anything on. That's so crap. So, but it's just awful. Oh, just sorry, awful. that really. Uh, I got Simon Chong actually told me that the other day because he was like, he's got quite a bit of fame. I was like, just tell me because I know it's going to be bullshit. And he told me, and I was like, oh. I think this is the that's first time rubbish. you've ever been angry on this podcast. Yeah, no, just ever. Uh, ever. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, that's I've... so stupid. And her costumes, the bit where she's like rolling around on the floor in like, like in the oh, rain. The rain. And it's well, like, then. I'd have had far oh. more respect if they just said, so why why is she wearing something? And he just went, because I fucking hate women, but I want to fuck them loads. Yeah. And you've gone, well, all right. I don't <laughs> yeah. agree with that. Yeah. That's no. a bit. <laughs> but this at least feels women, real. And that feels quite misogynistic and regressive, but I can't that's, argue with that. That's what it seems that's like it is. what you fucking think. Yeah, so, yeah. all right, I or guess. Or if his response was just, Tits. Yeah, I love tits. Yeah. I just fucking love tits. You know, I'm a bloody bloke. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the camera yeah. at least loves tits, and I'm thinking Kojima had something to do with the camera. Maybe. As the director. Yeah. No, it, the, it's the no, it's stupid pathetic. thing. It's yeah. pathetic. That's really sad. But anyway. So online, there's costumes similar. Yeah. Which are just strings and... Are there ones for men like things. that? Like Capcom does with like Chris Redfield and stuff with his little sailor outfit and stuff where he's... I believe the men are fully clothed. Of course. Mm. I do believe. Well, as, is, as is only right and proper. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, because correct. no one finds a man sexy. That, we all know not, that. You're like, hideous. No. Well, the men aren't yeah. objects. Especially. No, of course they're not. Especially me. I mean, good Lord. Have you seen me? Like, you can't right now and you're lucky. Probably the only reason you're listening. But, <laughs> wow. I really bad for you now. <laughs> yeah. I fancy you, Chris. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. 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 In all seriousness, because I don't know much about Metal Gear Solid in terms of the online. Presumably there is voice chat potentially online. With Metal Gear Solid Online, mm. is there? One would assume so. So if that's the case, surely having the female characters wandering around in not very, very much, mm. and with the sort of clientele one gets on an online game, to be a woman trying to play online on what is a very popular, very good game of the generation, mm. it, you're not making that very easy to not just be treated like fucking shit online. Mm. Yeah. Which... I, like, I gather Metal Gear Solid 5 is quite a good game, but it apparently the, the fact the industry still gets gets away with that is is slightly depressing. That, it is. That, that is what's yeah. going to happen this week. Is a lot of teenage girls are going to get sworn at by fucking dreadful people. Mm. I mean, well done. Well done. You did it. You twat. 
I mean, there might be sexy <laughs> male costumes that I just haven't there seen. Be. Like Ryden was full Not on that that makes naked, it any better. too. I mean, yeah. he was as naked yeah. as the day he was born. But that know? was during the batshit mental bit and everyone was just too busy getting angry about how shit it got at that. But it's, it's, oh, yeah, take that back. Yeah. Apart from you right. staring take at his that, eyes. I love right. that bit. That take bit was it great. Back. Oh, it, anyway. Tiny scissors, yeah, 61. 61. It's a false equivalency, though, even with that, isn't it? Because you go, oh, well, maybe there's sexy guy. But the internet and gaming isn't full of teenage boys being sexually verbally assaulted by loads of women mm. online that's that's not the context of the debate so no. even if there was loads of male characters really in fucking thongs mm. that's not the same thing no because that's not the problem the industry's got yeah i've got really angry now yeah I just find it utterly this is the angriest you. episode of game friends ever it is. but yeah no that that is uh, bullshit tedious. and yeah. one thing i will say now the the furore's died down and everyone's sort of less likely to shout at me mm, about it. Mm. The reason I haven't played much more Mega Solid 5 is because I'm not finding the story very engaging. Ooh. Well, that is that is a bit of At the a... beginning, apparently it gets good as you go along, but yeah. I don't care. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not very heavy on story, especially not compared to the earlier ones. I know. And, and Kiefer just doesn't speak. No, See, he never yeah. says a thing. Every... It's like, was he paid by the word? We've got him. Yeah, no, it's he, like... was, he was paid by the hour and they probably only had him for one day. Yeah, just get him a second. There are a lot of complaints about about him not saying much and stuff but I think like thinking of it from this uh, businessy perspective mm. and stuff they won't have had him for long no. yeah because it was a very expensive game and stuff but they'll only have so much money to give him to pay him for that whereas everybody else yeah, does all, all the exposition mm. like um, what's his face Ocelot whoever plays him must have been Troy fucking Baker. cheap mm-hmm. yeah. it's, it's Troy Baker isn't it? yeah. <laughs> he's oh, cheap but, I, I take that back because I like Troy Baker yeah, I've met good. him he's nice he probably is cheap though. I don't think he's a good Ocelot though I nah. don't think his voice fits Ocelot's character I at all. do I good. And I thought also, that. I it's, had, not Ocelot. it's not Ocelot he was better about... in 3 if you're going to have a different sound than oh, Ocelot Ocelot yes. was fantastic in 3 yeah. yeah like he was so like he's sassy yeah. you know he really worked for he Ocelot he was a right little bitch he's kind of just nothing yeah. in this. Yeah, just, he wears those very interesting leather red gloves. He does. He and does. I get confused with him and Miller over the radio. I do. They sound so similar, yeah, so really. nondescript that it's just like, I don't even know who's talking to him. Gameplay me. wise, as I said before, Metal Gear Solid 5 is really good. The yeah. emerging gameplay you can get out of Metal Gear Solid 5 is brilliant. But plot wise, <laughs> yeah, you've yeah, probably described it in previous episode. Yeah, yeah, but plot wise, it has yet to make me care. And that's yeah. a big thing. With a game, if I'm gonna, if it's not like super awesome, like Forza Six doesn't have a plot, but that mechan- it does. mechanic, it's all about how cars <laughs> are better does. than everything, <laughs> and the most important thing ever. <laughs> but the the driving is so good. That's all I'm doing. But maybe yeah. Solid Five, I need. I need a reason Especially if you're going to get something that much time, you need yeah. to be immersed in it. You need to be engaged. But apparently it's the best game ever in 10 out of 10. So I did give it 10 out of 10 in a real magazine for real people. <laughs> was it uh, the magazine report? It was a real TM. magazine. It's the first time people. I ever did a 10 for them and there was much wow. di- discussion and debate about it. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it, the, the story, even as it picks up and there's more of it, it's not, not that great. Engaging. It's not, but I just absolutely adore the game yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes yeah. it's fine for me okay. and I am still playing it and I will still be playing it for weeks to come at least until Fallout 4 mm. how many hours have you put into it that's 70 but I also you've done that it. several times yeah I, I, that's added on top of however many I said it was for a preview event and a review event My. which is probably about 60 hours as well mm. so and I'm not bored of it I again as I did the other week I want to go home and play it now mm. yeah mm. Um, so how are you finding it I yeah I I when I play it I love it but mm. I think this probably links back to what you were saying is I don't feel as much of an emotional attachment to it because yeah. probably there isn't this like really deep storyline where I'm like oh I need to find out what's going to happen next or whatever mm. like I I love the Metal Gear uh, story yeah um, like I'm it. really into it mm. and I guess because five seems to just kind of yeah be this sort of floaty more open world mm. experience I don't feel desperate to get back into it but when I play it I love it. But I think for for me, Metal Gear Solid, I love it. I, you know, like I used to love them, even though you love them, hate them. The kind of like long monologues with David Hater and stuff like yeah. that. It's like yeah. long, complicated yes, story. Mm. Um, Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah. Um, like I love all that. So I think it's a brilliant game, but it's not. It's definitely not going to be my favorite Metal Gear. It's the least Metal no. Gear. It's Metal the Gear least game. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. And Metal I love Gear, Metal, Metal Gear, Gear for how Metal Gear it is. So mm. yeah, Metal Gear. See, to me, yeah. all right, I've not played enough of it to rank it yet, but it to me, it feels like you're going to hate it. But I, I would still rate 1, 2, and 3 higher than it. When was the currently. last time you played 1, just out of interest? A while ago. A while yeah, ago. It's, it's been a while. No, 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 no. no. Well. It's brilliant. Mm. 
Are we going to have to have a fist fight? <laughs> oh, no. Because if, okay, well, how would you put them in order then? Because this is going to get um, feisty now. Five, Peace Walker, three, one, it's got two, crazy. four. Fuck, right, okay. Uh, so you're forcing anyone I've ever played. So mm. uh, yeah, like, once again, this, this conversation has validated that I tried to get into it when it was absolute Oh, that's shit. the worst time to get into yeah. it. So I gather. Or, the worst oh, one, no. in my opinion. Yeah. That's one yeah. thing. You're saying, you saying it's less Metal Gear is the thing that makes me more excited about five. Because yeah. Oh, yeah. when I attempted to engage with Metal Gear Solid, I just went, oh, this is just yeah. well, four, nonsense. Four is basically purely like, you like Metal Gear? Like, this is. Yeah. This is that's what yeah. dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Monkey drinking yeah. soda. I jumped to a party where I had no idea what everyone was talking about. And they've already. Yeah, exactly. So they were already parties. drunk. They're yeah. all drunk, and yeah. and they laughed at you for not knowing what. Yeah, they were all having in jokes. I've got no idea. It's, what yeah, it's on. literally just riddled with like tying up those loose ends and this yeah. an in joke, and you like this one. So and you're just coming into it. Shit himself. Yay! Yay. He's getting he married to good. Meryl. What? That's a genuine thing. No, yeah. I'm aware. <laughs> yeah. And it's great. Wasn't. He's great in one, two, and three because he's this little like Easter egg character and he's really mm. funny when you find him. But in yeah. four, when it's actually fleshed him out into a person. In five, bullshit. there is an audio recording of someone with the shits. There so we go. That's good. He is back Love in that. Area. I love that. A little bit mm. subtle. There, there's a lot of stuff that I'm seeing cropping up through it. While the story isn't as robust and everything, there, there's a lot of little things here and there that I'm picking up on that are like. Mm. But that's a nice way to do it. Have them, have them buried there for people yeah. who really explore and want to do that, but not yes. make it so central. That you alienate everyone but else. I went, no. Yeah. And some mm. complaints by people. I read something the other day, someone complaining about how they take a helicopter from the Seychelles to Africa and the Seychelles to um, Afghanistan. Well, that's not realistic. You're saying that about a Metal Gear Solid game. Yeah, that's not yeah, realistic. It's a gigantic bipedal robot with lasers and stuff in 1984 or whenever mm. it is. And this... Uh, man single-handedly raising an army without international authorities and armies taking any interest in it and lots of other things that I can't really go into because it is spoilery but it really is Metal Geary in the sense that it's fucking weird at times Mm. Mm. anyway sorry that's fine I hijacked that to talk about nothing in particular Hey man, that's what we're all about here at the Game (laughs) Friends no we're all about anger this week good point I think so I feel like it's Steve's turn now. It is, but I would. Would you like oh. to give Metal Gear Solid kazoos? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I'll give, from, well, I'll give it. Four we've out already four. given it kazoos, and I believe it's four it again. Four. Well, it's my yeah. turn. It's confirmed, now. so it's officially exactly. four on so four. So I think it should be what kind of theme? the codec noise. Yeah. How would you like me right. to make a noise with the kazoo? Okay. <laughs> I would like it to be like yeah. that thing, that noise. So three, two, one. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Speaking of Steve McNeil. Oh, hi guys. What have you been doing? What have you been playing? playing Where you been? Fucking football games. What? Why? Why? You, like you don't football, like though, you don't, don't you, you like don't... American football, uh... which I, as I was saying to my housemate the other day, we were sitting watching the NFL on BBC Two, yeah. and did I you was, see me? I almost waving. saw you waving to the camera Hello, at Wembley, you, but I did say we were both agreeing that American football to us is miles better than English soccer, and we were like, you know, I'm just <laughs> I'm going to start calling it soccer now and the American one football because I know that will annoy people that love soccer. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's I, only annoying when you actually say it like that. Soccer. Soccer. soccer, soccer, dirty, yeah. horrible it soccer. Doesn't annoy someone like me who's full of Wikipedia facts. So. Ah, of course, with the Association Football. Right. Right. He remembers. Oh. I like the knowledge soaks yeah. in. I love this. I have Absorb. a platform to yeah. teach. We're learning, but. I've been playing two soccer games. And you were not a big fan of either of them. The, it's the two big no, well, football I have, games. I have a weird. Re- yeah, it is. It's FIFA and PES. Yes. And the only ones. Sure, uh, yeah. but the problem I've always had with football games mm. is that. I like video games. Cool. I, go, I quite like football. I got into football quite a lot. Like, I'd never really played it when I was younger. And yeah. I never had a team. So my family were from Liverpool. So if anybody ever asked, I'd say, I support Liverpool. But I didn't really care like everybody else did because no. I, yeah. I got into it quite late. <laughs> but I quite like watching it. Like when the World Cup's on, I like watching the games, mm. even though we're horse shit at it. Allegedly. I quite like watching the football as mm. a thing. No, allegedly. But my frustration with football games was that if you've got mates who don't play games... Like lads, blokes, Bounce. the game that they'll play, or about own, me, they'll yeah, play Call of Duty so... and they'll play football FIFA. games. Yeah, and I'm FIFA. shit at the biggest selling I'm games. I'm shit at Call of Duty Online. I'm are. shit at FIFA. Yeah, yeah. So whenever I actually got to play computer games with my mates, mates who weren't gamey people, I'm just getting my ass handed to me at the thing that I love by people yeah. who don't care. Yeah. So that's given me a weird relationship with, okay. with FIFA and Pez anyway. Mm. For a start, so I'm not saying I'm, I'm declaring so I'm biased. This in context, yeah, it's going to make a lot that's of sense. Import, that's yeah. important. But when I got because it was for Jinx again to sort of do comparison of FIFA and Pez and write about them and got handed both the games, I thought maybe because I've got to sit down and spend a lot of time with them 
and it's been a long time since I played a football game, maybe actually sitting down, going through it from the beginning again, working my way through, I'll get good enough to actually be comfortable with control systems, understand what I'm doing and enjoy yeah. it. And I sort of have, I could play now. I probably wouldn't get completely humiliated by my mates now. I could do that. But having reviewed NFL, the Madden game, just yes. before, it's objectively so much more fun playing American football as a game. And I'm guessing mm. like the basketball and baseball ones are the same as well because I like that sort of sport. I don't know why everyone cares so much about playing FIFA. I get that they like football and they're doing the football, but it's nice. But they're not that much fun. Like compared to the bombast and the spectacle of the American, the, yes. what, the way the Madden one's branded, the football one is just very English and wet. And this is, I don't think you're wrong. Lights come up on a, you know, it's raining on the pitch and you've got one of the English commentators <laughs> sounding very dour, yeah. banging on about it. This Everybody's got English names which are shit. Which are rubbish, yeah. Yeah. Dransfield, that's pretty fucking Dransfield's a name. shit name, exactly. Oh. I'm a <laughs> I could be a TV detective, fuck you all. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. You could be but a boring one. And that's this is point, exactly what, as a, as a big fan of the WWE. Yeah, exactly. The Again. big presentation and the lights and the fireworks, like they come through smoke exactly. before they come out. <laughs> exactly. American football. Do you want smoke. footballers to enter the pitch like Gangrel used to enter the ring? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, blood <laughs> everywhere. As you to know, be honest, though, just put a little effort into it. Like, it's so English. Like, it's just like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, and it comes yeah. out and it's like I guess you've got a part with this we're really sorry and it's like no try a little <laughs> bit make it fun as you know I was at Wembley the weekend at the Jets yes. Dolphins game which yes. was amazing 90,000 people in London to watch American football was a lot and they do the players come through the tunnel but they're like they've got fucking fireworks out, they've got yeah. fireworks oh, arms so in the air they name the players individuals yeah. they come out they come out through a and there's 50 of odd of them and they let off fireworks that genuinely is like fly close to the fucking crowd yeah. just because it looks cool they don't care that they might burn a few kids they <laughs> no. just go we're going to have kids explosions will be happy. Yeah. just to say a bloke's name it's, I know. it's ridiculous, but it's so much more it's in, I think it's an intrinsically English thing to not like that stuff. It's it like is. It's like, like not liking people that succeed or make money. But we don't like that. That's why I don't like you, Chris. Oh, I'm so rich. <laughs> <laughs> but it isn't. It's something about the game because football is massive. Loads of places. The, I, not, as I was saying, Brazil probably the biggest the, sport in the world. Latin America is very good at a Mardi Gras, but there's yeah. none of that mm. in None of FIFA. that translates to I'm football. I'm not saying there should be, yeah. but it's just so... The thing is, mm. when you're playing a football game, you're not playing football, you're not a fucking lad, you haven't got a pint. Yeah. It's not, you're playing a computer game, yes. you're doing a simulation of a thing. Yes. You could at least make the game fun. Well, this was the game thing playing, said, Madden yeah. is fun. Yeah. FIFA is just, oh, it's a long pass, it's a short pass. But this, this to it's me, shit. is kind of the I intrinsic part of football that I don't like, that I feel like, I know there are tactics there, and people have explained them to me, <sighs> but it essentially looks like a lot of people just kicking a ball around for a bit with no real plan other than get it in the goal. Whereas American football, especially someone that enjoys computer games, you can look and like there's people with different roles. Like there's your DPS over there, there's your mage at the back. Like there's all of that stuff, and it's quite cool. Like you look at it, it's there's quite all video the tactics. Game. It, quite, it translates to games. So if you like League of Legends, you can watch American football and get a lot out of it. Whereas English football, it's just boring. Nothing happens. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing I remember my dad saying this to me as I was a kid. I was like. Neil, Neil, that's rubbish. Nothing happened. And he's like, you don't get football, do you? Like, it can be an amazing game and be Neil, Neil. And I was like, there was a brilliant But one nothing one happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's where I think my love of American things comes as in. I'm like, come on. <laughs> resident person who did think both those games. You did. We, we discussed uh, it in a previous episode. My rebuttal to your, your rant there about football is... I, yes. I don't think it was a rant. I think it was a passion. Uh, uh, <laughs> impassioned speech. Yeah. Yes. To the people. Uh, the yeah. 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 Uh, my response to that, my rebuttal to that is, <laughs> which is about the level of discourse I'd expect from, yeah. from anyone who likes football. From a football fan, I like them, but it does not affect my enjoyment that you don't. No, indeed, I disagree with your points, a lot of them, but I can't be asked arguing. Yeah, fair enough. Good. I've, oh, I've the other, th the other thing, though, if I can get a rise out of him, is that he was saying now Pez is better, and Pez is horseshit. See, now you were saying this, this before we started recording, with. and he looked visibly angered by this. <laughs> I, I don't now. Angered. In terms of like, uh, well, that's true. I, t I was in terms of me, what I think of the sport and things like that. <clears throat> don't mind, but I do know for a fact that Pez is considered the if you like football, that's the proper one. It mm. is, but is th right. Firstly, FIFA, if you care, and not everyone, a, lot, a lot of people do, FIFA looks infinitely better. Pez looks dreadful. No, you're absolutely FIFA. right. It looks dreadful. And I, so if you mm. really like Pez or you like the gameplay of Pez more, as I was saying to you just before, just go back and play an old Pez game. That you, like. you don't need to spend <laughs> 50 quid on a new one. Go and play the one from 15 years ago that looks a 
basically the same <laughs> and have a lovely time. That's the first thing. The other thing about the difference between FIFA and PES, everybody talks about fluid gameplay and about, yes. oh, it's more responsive and it's always saying. It, the analogy I draw with football is like lager. You get people now like wine tasters, but for lager, and they compare Budweiser and Carlsberg like it's a fucking thing. <laughs> the difference between FIFA and PES in terms of gameplay, in terms of fluidity, or any of that bullshit, mm. is about the same as the difference between a pint of Carlsberg and a pint of Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, but Carlsberg's it's... good, Budweiser's ah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Subverted it. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you like football, buy wow. it. It doesn't really The matter. presentation thing um, it's going to get it's real. absolutely <laughs> right, because PES has, has <laughs> never had it looks good terrible. presentation. It, looks it doesn't have any money to make it look good and right. you can import your own kits and stuff it's a laborious process blah 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 yeah. um, but it looks like shit and yeah. it's presented like shit and they're making efforts but they're not good enough no. uh, whereas FIFA actually looks like football on TV they've clearly thrown so much yeah. money at FIFA and the, 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 the EA Sports sponsors like football things yeah. on actual football yeah um, the actual game thing again I disagree but who can be asked arguing we're not the internet. We're face to face. That's true. Let's just kiss. <laughs> hmm. We are game friends. That's as, not as you can tell, kiss. he's not kissing me on the mouth. Sound the same on there if you stop talking, mate. But that <laughs> wouldn't sound like a kiss. I don't exactly do like you? That so kiss. I mean, I feel like maybe I have done something different to what you guys consider kissing. <laughs> <laughs> That's kissing. Yeah, hell yeah. He's got a crow involved. <laughs> Just Chris just screaming while he's being kissed. Yeah, that's a shame. With the crow. But, you know, never mind. For, uh, for, okay, we'll go for one each. For FIFA 16? No, I'll give you my Pez score first. All right, for Pez? <laughs> Pez, I will give Pez three kazoos. Three, considering how awful you just said it was. That's quite a lot of kazoos. What's the pattern of sound? Freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> FIFA gets four kazoos. Does it? Yeah. This if you is like very that, controversial. If you like but that. But this is these are your crazy. views, Steve. These are your kazoos. You are saying that FIFA 16 is four kazoos. I, I think if you care about if you like if you like soccer. I'm not soccer, asking if a person likes it. I'm asking what you. I will think. judge this in my own way, Chris. Well, well, I, very I, well. I'm, I'm, I know what he's doing. I am a professional after all. Okay. I understand. He is a professional. Distancing himself from his personal yeah. venom. Yes. The fire. And if you understanding that the product in and of itself is. Very, very accomplished. Yeah. And now I sound like a marketing twat. But he's right. If you like the soccer, I think the Do FIFA guys, one is... Are you got a copy you of this in your... finish my sentence. <laughs> if you, have you got a copy of FIFA in I your bag? this twat. <laughs> like, it feels like you were about to go, and you should buy this copy of FIFA right now. I was like, she's getting weird. You're both looking at me very earnestly and telling me all about why this is great. Me and Ian work a bit for FIFA. <laughs> okay, now that's fine. As long as there's disclosure, it's not a problem. We're the ones who hand the bribes to Sap. Go ahead. Indeed. Yeah, no, the thing is, if you liked football, as, as some, or even if you didn't, but you wanted to play a football game, mm. from my point of view, if I came to both of those, the one I'd pick is FIFA, because I really don't think it's that different between the two, having sat and played them back to back for 20 hours. But I see why, I believe you, that if you're really into it, maybe there feels like more of a difference. But I didn't, as someone who's come to two football games after years of not playing and blind, FIFA seemed a lot better. Mm. And if I liked the soccer, I'd give it four, four kazoos. All right, what's the rhythm? You've set you've set this new template. I'm I like it. Yeah. So uh, the, new to the, table. the rhythm on this yeah. one. I'd actually like um, three very strong blows, like like you'd get at the end of the football with the with the final whistles. <laughs> I'd like the three clear parps for four kazoos for FIFA, the better of the 2016 football games. Three parps. <gasps> <laughs> Shame that he sets the template only to break it himself. It's, it's I can't believe you it's believe wonderful. That that <laughs> it's constant subversion. It's... Where's your mind? You don't fucking know. I don't know anymore, and I don't like it. <laughs> but in, all... Yeah. in all seriousness, if you want to play computer games instead of sports, play Madden. It's better. Okay. Better. If you want to play computer games, you should stop because you're a fucking nerd. Yeah. Get a life. You dicks. You guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs>